when you're talking about the diagnosis of depression, patient must meet at least five of these criteria. One of the criteria must be depressed mood almost every day for about two weeks. Also anhedonia, that's decreased interest or pleasure in activities that someone once found enjoyable. Someone might experience appetite or weight changes. This can be either eating too much or too little. Also sleep disturbance, which can be hypersomnolence, sleeping for hours, or decreased sleep where somebody's barely getting any rest. Another key factor is to ask people what time of day they wake up. Often very early awakenings can be a sign associated with depression. Psychomotor agitation or retardation are other symptoms of depression. So this would look like a patient who's very anxious and fidgety, moving around a lot, or having retarded psychomotor function where they barely move. Loss of energy is another symptom, as is feeling worthless or excessively guilty about something out of their control. Also trouble concentrating. So a patient might describe to you that all of a sudden their work colleagues are telling them that their work isn't quite as good anymore or they're not keeping up with tasks like they once did. And finally, recurrent thoughts of suicide can be another sign of major depression. Because because suicide is such an important component of psychiatry, I want to emphasize again here the importance of asking patients about suicide and self-harm and then always going one step further to ask them if they have any plan to harm themselves or any intention to do so.